Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. In today's video, let's see what is a dam, what are the advantages and disadvantages of a dam. And we'll also see what is hydroelectricity and how is hydroelectricity generated. A dam is a barrier built across a river or a stream to block the flow of water. Ancient builders mostly used rocks and clay for building dams. Modern day builders often use concrete for dam construction. Water dams create artificial lakes called reservoirs to store water. This stored water is later used for irrigation, industry and domestic purposes. This water reservoir is also used for water sports, fishing, boating and other recreational activities. Dams have helped people to prevent flooding for many centuries. Now let's see some important advantages of building a dam. Dams can provide water for irrigation and human consumption. Water dams are used for generating hydroelectricity. We will not run out of hydropower as long as the water cycle exists. And dams help us to avoid air pollution as hydropower is a clean energy. Dams provide prime recreational areas for boating, camping, water sports and picnic. Dams can suppress floods thereby avoiding a big disaster. Dams are useful for navigation and transportation. Though there are many advantages of constructing a dam, they have some serious disadvantages too. Let's see them now. Dams affect biodiversity. Dams restrict the movement of migratory fish and other aquatic animals, thereby affecting their reproduction and gradually decline in population. Plant life may get submerged under water and eventually die. Dams will capture and hold important sediments needed for habitats downstream, thereby affecting the fertility of the soil. Construction of dams can affect the groundwater table along the river. A dam collapse could be a major catastrophe. Construction of a dam could be very expensive too. Now let's see what is hydroelectricity and how is it generated. Hydropower or hydroelectricity is the conversion of mechanical energy from flowing water into electrical energy. The fall and movement of water is part of the continuous natural cycle of water called water cycle. Hydropower is considered a renewable energy source because the water cycle is constantly renewed by the sun. We will not run out of hydropower as long as the water cycle continues. Most hydroelectric power plants have a reservoir of water a gate or valve to control how much water flows out of the reservoir and an outlet or place where the water ends up after flowing downward. Water gains potential energy just before it spills over the top of a dam or flows downhill. This potential energy is converted into kinetic energy as water flows downhill. This water is used to turn the blades of a turbine to generate electricity which is later distributed to the power plant's customers. Thanks for watching BS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Light up subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. BS1 Play.